In this video, we'll see how to prevent noisy footage and also how to fix one if it turned out that way. Hey everyone, I'm Dom from Wondershare Uniconverter, and if the footage that you recorded is too noisy, there is one key reason behind it. So have you ever recorded noisy footage in an environment where there is enough light? I guess not. That's because where there is enough light, the ISO value on your camera can be lower, ideally at the native value. When the ISO is fixed, you can only modify how much light enters the camera with the aperture values, or you can use an ND filters like we talked about in this video. Now naturally, when an environment is too dark and you already go full open with obviously the shutter speed fixed, and the image is still too dark, pumping up the ISO seems like the easiest fix, right? And there are cameras that can go very high in ISO without introducing a lot of noise into the image, but in the end, noise will be there. So what do you have to do to prevent that? It is a very easy fix, really. You need to introduce more light into the scene. Let me quickly demonstrate this for you. So right now I go full open at f1.4, ISO is 125, and the shutter speed is obviously fixed at 1 per 50. I have one ring light here, set to pretty much a low value, and the footage looks good, no? Now let me turn this light down. There isn't any noise yet, but you also don't see much of me either. So now let me go up in ISO, one second. See, now the image is brighter and there is more noise involved. So if you ever watch behind the scenes videos of movies, you might see that even when they shoot night scenes, the set is practically brightly lit. Well, the reason for that is exactly this. You need to do the lighting according to the camera settings and not the other way around. With modern digital cameras, this thing is much more flexible since we have all these values to set. But on analog film cameras, the ISO value is fixed on the film negative you're working with. Let me share a personal experience with you regarding this. I just made a short film that was shot on 16mm film, and the workflow was fascinating, really. Everything had to be 100% set correctly, otherwise the film hadn't been exposed right and it would have turned out bad. And since you don't see the final image real-time, the truth about the results will be revealed only one day after the shooting. So if something goes wrong in these workflows, that's a big problem. I think this mentality and discipline of setting the lighting correctly is very important to be adapted also in digital film and video making, because you limit the chances of something going wrong basically to 0%. But naturally, we're all humans and things do go wrong. Not to mention those circumstances where one doesn't have the possibility to get more lights and just has to work with what they have. So when you tried everything, you tried your best and you still ended up with footage that's noisy, fortunately you have some options to fix it, or at least to reduce the amount of noise it has. Most of the video editors people generally use have the option to reduce noise. Some does it better, some does it worse. More simple effects reduce noise by blurring it out, so you lose sharpness from the image. And with more advanced effects, the software analyzes your footage and does a more thorough job without making things blurry, but that takes longer and it requires a lot of computing power. In DaVinci, for instance, you have multiple settings to mess around with. It requires computing power, like I said, and some experimenting to find the perfect settings for the noise that you have. Now. I'm not an expert in this, because I'm pro not having noise. And the settings that I have here might not work on your footage, so you'll have to do this on your own in the software that you work with. I will, however, show you a one simple click solution to reduce the noise in your video, which can come in handy if your footage is not crazy noise and you need a like, quick fix. In the Uniconverter, there is an AI video enhancer tool. We've already used this for upscaling videos, but it also has a general denoiser function. So just simply open the AI video enhancer and import your video clip. Then choose the general denoiser function. You have the option to see a quick preview here, but it's very stuttery even on a fast computer, so it's better to just click on export and wait for the process to be finished. It might take a while too. Okay, so let's say comparison. This is before and this is after. As you can see, the result is significantly less noisy. 
Note that none of the noise remover tools out there can do magic in the end. However, up to a certain level, you do have the option to fix a piece of footage that didn't exactly turn out the way you want it. Ultimately, I'd urge you to try to do everything first you possibly can in order to avoid recording noisy footage, because fixing it in post will always give you more headaches than fixing it on set. But that's it for today, I hope you found this video useful and if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel, I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching and have a great one guys!